Hi everybody, I'm Clark Smith, I'm the winemaker for Winesmith, and I have something very special to show you today. Uh, it's one of the most rewarding and challenging wines that I've ever made, and as I'll show you in a minute, it's uh, really difficult to describe. I'll show you how I went about it. This is one of our Roman Reserve wines. What I try to do with that line is to explore the way the Romans made wine and why they planted all those grapes all over Europe. And I think when you taste this wine, you'll understand that they were able to control the empire because their cuisine and their expertise with winemaking was so, so great that the village elders decided not to murder them in their beds. They were able to establish a stable civilization all over Europe for a thousand years. I'm sure that many of you have suspected that there is such a thing as a really transformative wine, something so profound that it shows you places in your soul that you didn't know you had. And those are not easy things to experience. Usually they're pretty expensive. People will spend three or four hundred dollars on a bottle of Napa Cabernet and not really get that experience. It's a pretty rare thing to do. And so that's what I sought to do with this wine. It's 100% Syrah from a vineyard called Ichi Pichi, way up in northern Humboldt County, where there are some organic growers, the Pierce family, wonderful people, and their Syrah is just second to none. Uh, it's all organic. So like the Romans, they didn't have pesticides or herbicides, and they chose not to use sulfur dioxide. This wine is made without sulfites. Any university-trained enologist or winemaker will tell you that that's impossible. So, this is an impossible wine. And rather than to call it Syrah, because that doesn't really tell its story, the only way I could come up with to describe what happens when you, when you taste this wine. On the back I've got this QR code that will cue up a song by Nelson Eddy called The Lost Chord. And uh, you, can, you can find that on YouTube. And it's uh, by Arthur Sullivan uh, of Gilbert and Sullivan. And it's, I think, the finest piece of music that he ever wrote. And it's about, he's seating, he was seated at the organ one day and kind of tired and ill at ease and then out of nowhere he just strikes this chord of music that spoke to him like the sound of a great amen and <laughs> and then he can't find it again and so i thought that was an appropriate name for this one is a very small quantity that we produced and when it's gone, it's gone. And like he says, it may be only in heaven that I will hear that grand amen. So that's kind of what I got to say about this wine. It isn't something that you can just kind of pull apart into its pieces because the whole wine, there's just so much going on there that it just kind of pulls you down into the wine. Like a, I, 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 I liken it to the feeling you get when you punch the down button on an elevator. But you just have this feeling of falling right into the wine and it's as if you're profoundly understood. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what else to tell you except, you know, one time in your life if you're a wine lover you should experience a wine like this. And you know, it's it's 75 bucks. It's not cheap. It's a 2013, so it's seven years in old barrel, sulfite free, no microbiological problems, and it's just evolved into this uh, incredibly uh, organic and extraordinarily uh, profound uh, expression. Mm. Wow. Well silky, minerally, the organic practices there really give us this mineral energy that I'm always looking for. And I think it's still quite age-worthy. And what would I do with this? Certainly a nice porterhouse steak 
would do the job, and I'm going to recommend uh, a grilled duck breast, which has a lot of fat on it. Not that the tannins here are harsh at all, they're extremely dense, but they've smoothed out pretty well, and we had to wait this wine out until that happened. Uh, even just a year ago, it was still pretty tight. Oh, and for the first 50 people that buy this, we're going to give you a black light flashlight. And then here's what happens when you shine a black light on the label. 